Hello there. So it's been quite some time since I posted a video to my channel and I've just been dealing with something and I've been going through it. So gym hasn't even been a priority for me. I haven't gone to the gym in probably a month now or going on a month, somewhere around there. But the reason being is that I am currently 10 weeks pregnant with baby number six. Um, we have five daughters and we'll see if baby number six will be that boy that we've pre pretty much been trying to get for some time now. The reason I say that I've been going through it is that I've been dealing with a lot of morning sickness. I can't even say morning sickness because it's been all day sickness to the point where I couldn't drink water, I couldn't keep any foods down, not even vegetables or fruit other than bananas. Um, I haven't been able to eat very much. I've just been really, really, really sick and it's been quite horrible. It has eased up a bit, but I still really can't eat anything. If it's not at 10 p.m., I can't keep it in my stomach. So, this has made me, I guess, more conscious about the things that I've been eating. Because I can't keep anything down. It's like this baby is set on being healthy already from the jump. And it's causing me to be healthy. Of course, you all already know that I was in the gym for a whole nine months working on my body, trying to get my body in shape and trying to, you know, I went a long time trying to lose weight, but I got to a point where I didn't even, I wasn't even trying to lose weight anymore. I was just trying to stay consistent going to the gym, you know, and not giving up on myself and continuing with my exercise journey. So that's pretty much gone downhill. So this morning when I woke up, I haven't drank water in about three weeks. I've just been drinking protein shakes um, because it's a liquid form and it has, I put a banana in it and protein powder. The, um, it's vegan, it's plant-based protein powder. So that was kind of like my drink, my water, my food, all in one. And that is one thing that I can keep down, whether I drink it in the morning, middle of the day, or at nighttime. That is something that I can keep down. So this morning when I woke up, I told myself, okay, I, you've been miserable long enough. I woke up, I did have morning sickness, um, but luckily nothing came up. Matter of fact, it's 10 a.m. and I still haven't even eaten anything because I told myself I'm going to go walk in my backyard. My backyard is pretty big, so I can walk laps in my backyard. And um, it is pretty a pretty good distance. So I walked 10 laps in my backyard, and that made me thirsty. So I was able to drink two of these cups of water for the first time in about three weeks. And... You know, yesterday, I was looking at the water. No, I was thinking about water yesterday. And I told myself, you know what? I would give anything just to be able to drink some water. I mean, that's how much I missed water. And most of the time, you know, before I was pregnant, I would go days without drinking water. And I told myself, you know, the one thing I truly miss right now is being able to gulp down some water, some ice cold, refreshing water. And so this morning I said, okay, I'm gonna walk me some laps. That's gonna make me thirsty. And it definitely did. So I was able to drink those two cups of water and it was so refreshing and I'm so happy to be able to drink water again, finally. Um, like I said, I haven't eaten anything yet. And I pretty much know that I'm not gonna be able to eat anything because all through the day I cannot keep any food down so I figure you know 
midday um take my protein shake with my i might put two bananas in it just to get those extra calories in and then later on tonight probably about 10 p.m i'll probably eat i'm gonna try to eat some brussels sprouts i ate brussels sprouts about a week ago and they all came back up and it was a horrible experience so what i'm gonna do is i'm craving some brussels sprouts so i'm gonna eat that tonight and i might cook me some sunny side up eggs as well because i i really want some sunny side up eggs and i haven't been able to keep that down so pretty much my options are strictly going to be healthy options when I am able to eat at 10 p.m. I know it's a lot of people say you shouldn't eat at that time. It's too late for your body to process it. But for some reason, I'm able to hold the food down and then it doesn't come back up. And then in the morning time when I wake up, it, it doesn't come back up with my morning sickness bouts that I have. So... This pregnancy so far has been quite the struggle and I'm looking forward to it getting a lot better. So, like I said, the gym is on hold right now. And on top of that too, the reason it's on hold is because I have a, I'm having aversions to smells. I cannot stand the smell of anything. The smell, and as you can see, I'm currently sitting outside because sitting out here just makes me feel so wonderful and at peace with myself. And I don't feel as sick as when, you know, I'm sitting around the house and smelling certain smells and it's just so peaceful and relaxing sitting out here. So, um, yeah, so, I pretty much don't like the smell of anything and that's another reason I probably can't and I haven't been cooking much lately for my family because I can't stand the smell of anything but luckily my oldest daughter she's a great cook she's been cooking she's been cooking since she was four years old so she can cook anything I can cook I'm talking about homemade cornbread from scratch um, homemade chili you name it she can make it so in regards to feeding um, our family that's under control it's just that I'm not doing it but the two things that I have been able to cook for the children no actually the one thing is my homemade lentil soup which I'm able to keep it down but it still makes me feel sick in my stomach so that would be some, another thing that I would cook for myself to eat later in the evening so I am able to cook soup and like I made a um, beef stew with with you know beef chunks and carrots and potatoes and can't recall what else I put in it but it was really delicious so I was able to keep that down so those are the two meals primarily that I'm making right now um, because I can't stand the smell of many things so slow cooker slow cooker meals um, are my go-to meals for when I do you know get the urge to actually cook something so that's just an update on what's going on with me. I know I haven't been on the channel, but I'm definitely still in the back of my mind thinking about getting more healthy and getting in better shape and all of those things. And I'm hoping to be able to accomplish that even throughout this pregnancy. So yeah, so I hope you all have been keeping up with your health journeys and your weight lifting and all of those things even though i've kind of taken a hiatus from my own journey but soon you know once this baby is out or when i'm feeling a little bit better, when i'm feeling a little better i might get back into the gym i'm just not sure right now it's a no-go because i'm just feeling too horrible so yeah that's just an update on me and thank you for watching mm -hmm.